So there was a big virus that hit America today and the stock market took a hit and it went down dramatically. And today I'm going to be showing you my top performing dividend stocks and my worst performing dividend stocks after this virus has been announced on the news and the stock market took a crash. I'm Zeke from the Dream Green Show. Let's get into the video. All right, so we take a look at my account. I'm sitting around $15,459. Um, the news hit America today around 11 o'clock. And from there on, everybody started selling off their shares because I think a couple people have died from this virus that's been released in America or that just made it to America. So they're starting to check people at airports to make sure no more uh, people that's affected uh, get into the public. So they're trying to contain it right now, but the stock market did take a hit. Around 11 o'clock, all the stocks uh, pre-market hour for me were up and then it just went down dramatically all the way for the, the last, till the stock market closed to 220. It's been on a steady decline and I was down all the way 1.46% and that is around uh, $207 for me in a single day. I lost $207 in a single day. It bounced back a little bit after market hours and I went back up a little bit over eight bucks. But yeah, guys, the stock market took a big hit today because of the news that has been released. Um, so we're gonna take a look at my top performing stocks. Um, any stocks that I helped for over the last three months, I considered um, not just stocks that I just bought, but stocks that I had for a while. So taking a look at my top and worst performing stocks uh, that don't pay dividends, I only have four. I have AMD, Tesla, Google, and Netflix. Pretty solid stocks. My worst stock performing out of these four is Netflix. So let's take a look at Netflix. Netflix was killing it today. Before the news came out, I was up 2.55%. And as soon as it came down, it dropped down to negative 0.7%. So almost a 3% difference in the matter of an hour. And then it rebounded back throughout the day. Um, my position in Netflix, I have three shares for an equity of $1,055.25. Um, my total return from Netflix is $98.11. I'm up 10.25%. So if Netflix, I'm still doing good with, I'm still up 10%, almost $100. After the news came out, I had Netflix for a while. And this is my worst performing um, non-dividend paying stocks. That means all the other ones are doing pretty good as well. I have Google, I'm up 22%. This uh, Tesla, I'm up 70%. And then, of course, my best performing stock by far is AMD. It took the biggest hit today out of all of my stocks. AMD was up 1.2% today. I was up. Um, and then the news came out and it dropped all the way down to negative 4.14%, almost $2.14 from AMD in a matter of hours. So today I lost $61.60, 2.71%. I only total of 44 shares for an equity of $2,213. I say this is my best performing stocks that I had over the year because I'm up $1,381.71. So the bad news didn't affect, it affected AMD uh on the day very badly but over the year amd has been killing it i'm up 166 percent if we click on the one year mark uh, uh this year alone amd is up 150 percent um 30 dollars and 25 cents so this year amd has been my best non-paying dividend stocks and netflix has been my worst non-paying dividend stock but now what you guys been waiting on is how did my dividend stocks perform after the news? Which one is my best and which one is my worst? So the bottom two dividend paying stocks I have, the first one is CTRE, Catrice, REIT. Um, I'm down a total of $6.87. Um, only have three shares with $65.61 invested into the company and I'm down 9.48%. So this one hasn't been performing too well, 
over the year i was up pretty good a substantial amount but uh in november some news came out and it dropped all the way down to negative 2.52 percent the other one i have that's not performing too well is ford so ford is not performing too well either it's an automobile company um over the last year ford has been up and down up and down up and down but the last month it has dropped 4.5 six percent today alone it started off bad and got even worse dropping all the way down after the news 1.91 percent scrolling down i own 20 shares of ford with an equity of 180 dollars and 20 cents i'm down four dollars and 53 cents down 2.45 percent from ford so these are my worst uh performing dividend stocks but let's take a look at my best performing dividend stocks. Okay, by percent alone, Intel is my best performing dividend stock. I am up 41.21% from Intel alone, up $19.96. I own one share for $68.40, and I bought in at an average cost of $48.44, and this pays a dividend yield of 2.01%. I need to get some more Intel because it's a direct competitor with AMD, my best performing non-paying dividend stocks. And if we look at the last month alone, it's up 15.44%. And just the last week alone, it's up 14.38%. With the, this earnings came out on January 23rd after, after markets, and it jumped up from 6% to 14% in a matter of that but then no snap um and my best performing dividend stocks by monetary gain is agnc okay it took a pretty hard hit today as well it started off pretty good the news came out and dropped all the way down minus 0.9 percent on the day i lost $4.62. I own a total of 77 shares with an equity of $1,414.49 with the average cost of $16.49. Uh, my total return from AGNC, just from the value alone, I'm up $144.76, up 11.4%. But this is a monthly paying dividend stocks, and I get and I receive a payment from AGNC from around 11 to 12 dollars every single month from agnc if i scroll down my last payment was 11 dollars and 20 cents so youtube the stock did take a dramatic drop today after the news go out praise god to the families that might have suffered from the virus and every and hope everything end up being solved by next week and that the market starts to recover uh, as you can see, my dividend paying stocks, my worst ones aren't doing that bad. I only had a small position in them and my best paying dividend stocks have been paying me out over the last couple of months, stacking up and I've been reinvesting that right into it. And my best paying stocks that don't pay out dividends are also doing pretty good. All of them are in a positive percent, making me money. I use the Robinhood app to buy and sell all of these stocks for free. If you want to sign up for Robinhood, there's a link down in the description that you can get a free stock and I get a free stock whenever I get somebody to sign up. So why not get free money? And also, while you're down there, I'm going to be doing a full overview of my portfolio going over every single stock towards the end of the month. So while you're down there, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel a lot and so that you don't miss the future videos. But I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.